Hey everybody, it's me James, Perkins Life 4, and today I'm going to show you how I make my chicken alfredo. So I'm going to make be making um, chicken and mushroom alfredo for Atia. It's one of the things that she likes. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I don't do it like everybody else does it probably. This is my way. So you can see how it's done. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is... I'm going to cut up the mushrooms and you can get any mushrooms you want these are just the ones that she kind of picked out so I'm going to slice these up real quick you can slice these any way you want I just need them in a you don't want to slice them too small, and you don't have to use mushrooms if you don't want to use mushrooms. All right, so I'll put these in a bowl. Next one I got here is I've got some chicken and I like using just chicken strips because when I'm cutting these up and I always, for some reason these little chicken strips always have this little, uh, I don't know what that is, that little tag part on there. I'm going to take that out real quick. But I'm just going to cut these in little pieces. And you don't have to use, yet again, you don't have to use mushrooms. You don't have to use chicken. You could make a shrimp alfredo. Or if um, you don't want no nothing in there, you can make you know, a vegetable alfredo too. I've done that before too, so. That's a little long. Alrighty, so there's my chicken and my mushrooms cut up. So I'm going to switch you over here and I'll show you the next step. Alright. Here, right next to it, so I get you over here. I've got water right here boiling. And in here I've got some salt and a little bit of oil. Put whatever you want in there. That's just how I do my noodles. So let's get you turned back over here. Hopefully y'all get to see this pretty well. All right, so first thing I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna cook my chicken and my mushrooms up. First thing I'm gonna do those, I'm gonna cook my mushrooms up first. And I cook my mushrooms in butter. I cook my mushrooms and my chicken in butter. I don't use the oil. Um, my water's boiling, so real quick, I'm gonna use, put my fettuccine noodles in. I don't know, let's see, uh, there you go. Fettuccine noodles, put those in, get those start cooking up. All right, so I'm gonna cook my uh, mushrooms and butter. I like using butter just because I think it's got a better flavor and it's part of the taste when it comes out it'll taste pretty good and I'm not going to add a lot of salt to my dish because one I've got um, salt in my noodles and two whenever I start adding the other ingredients for the sauce it'll be salty so I just want to cook these down a little bit Let's see if I get this going up higher so I get this 
and I cook my mushrooms separately and I don't want to cook them all the way I just want to kind of wilt them down a little bit that water a little bit too high on that one okay there we go so and I ain't gonna make you sit through all this here I'll cut it out in and out here and there so I think that's probably about good enough, so I'm going to put it back in this bowl here. Oh, spilt some. Now what I'm going to do now, of course, add a little bit more butter. And I'm going to add my chicken. And I'm going to use the same pan because I will be um, adding the, the mushrooms back into this here in just a minute. Get my seasonings down. Powder. Of course, can't go wrong with garlic. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning to it. I'm going to get this all stirred up. Everything gets covered with that seasoning. Now you don't want this too wet, you know, but every once in a while you notice that it's getting a little dry on you. Add a little bit of a little dollop of butter to it right there. That all moving around. How's that looking? It looking good? And you know, you can add whatever seasonings you want. This is the seasonings I add. Um, a tea really doesn't like pepper a lot, so I kind of skip out on the pepper for it. It ain't gonna change the taste any. It's just whether or not you like pepper or not, you can add pepper to it. Make sure your chicken's cooked all the way. And it's just about cooked all the way right now, so I'm gonna finish it up by adding my mushrooms back to it. So I want that chicken to soak up some of that mushroom juice too. How's that look right there? Yummy, yummy. And see now with that mushroom juice, see how it made a little bit extra juice there? Can y'all see this? Let's see. Can y'all see that little bit extra juice? I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit to kind of cook that juice off. Got a lot of that juice cooked off of it. So now I'm going to show you a little secret I do, or this is the way I do it. This ain't the way a lot of people do it, I guess, but it works for me and it works. So what you're going to do is because it's you know chicken alfredo, so it's going to be a creamy sauce. You know, you don't have to go through that whole putting your heavy cream in there and thicken it with a roux and you know you could skip all those steps if you want to um, 
A tea doesn't really like it with the heavy cream. She, it's just, it's too heavy for her. So what I end up doing is I just use regular milk and I use skim milk because that's what we drink. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour some just milk in here. Okay? Probably about, let's say, that much. Can y'all see that? Let's see, I hope y'all are able to see this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and let this come to a boil. Stir my noodles real quick over here. Those are coming out really good. You wanna look at that real quick? See, see how the noodles are coming out really good now? They're almost done. Messed you up there. Hope you're okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's starting to come to a boil. So I want that milk really hot. And if y'all notice, see how there's there's nothing sticking on that spatula. Let's see if I can get you up here. See how there's nothing sticking on the spatula right now. No juice or anything, so. All right. And if you want a thicker, richer sauce, you could always add the, the heavy cream or half and half or whole milk too if you want to. But this is kind of not quite as rich, but it's still got some a lot of flavor to it. Okay, here comes my secret. My secret that I do Shaky cheese, you know the little um, Parmesan cheese that you shake on your Italian food. I buy the uh, Parmesan Romano because it's just really good taste. So what I'll end up doing now with this, take that lid off, is I'm going to add this to my stuff, and basically that's where you're going to get a lot of your salt content, but that cheese there is going to thicken your sauce up too, and. If you know, if you ever looked at real, I don't know if it's, I don't know why my own it's not real, but if you ever look at regular chicken Alfredo, one of the ingredients they use is a Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to use this instead, and this is going to get me my thick sauce and everything. I'm just going to stir this up really good. Just keep stirring it, and it'll slowly thicken on you. And usually for about this much, a lot of times you got to use almost the whole container of cheese. That's why I said be careful with your salt content in your when you're cooking your stuff because that cheese, you know, has a lot of salt in it. So Strain my noodles. All righty. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this mixture and it's still melting down and it takes a little bit of time you just got to be patient with it but I'm going to now throw it into my noodles and finish it up there
and this is kind of where you get your first look at it see whether or not it's got enough milk or anything in it and I'm gonna add a little bit more milk so I want you to want a little bit more sauce and this is where you can really get it stirring too Add a little bit more of my Parmesan. And it's just one of those things where it'll be, it'll be like real liquidy and real, the chicken and the cheese, or the chicken and the mushrooms kind of clump up with the cheese. And then all of a sudden, it'll just blend out and thicken. You gotta be patient. I mean, there's no rush. And you just keep adding your milk, and I'm gonna add all this cheese now to it. Alrighty. Um, let's see if we can get something. Do you see how that's thickened up really nice there? See, look at that spoon. And this is where you got to kind of watch it too because sometimes when it thickens you might have not enough milk in there and it'll get like way too thick on you so you just kind of watch it a little bit and it looks like it's probably gonna be just right about it right there so I will bring you back here in just a minute and we're gonna let treat a Tia try this so alrighty we're back and here's the plate uh, the chicken alfredo atia's got her a bite mm. good yes good so let's get you turned around here all righty so i got the approval from the boss you know, and she she's liking it. She's eating the tar out of it over here. So, um, thanks for uh, stopping in and checking this out. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Um, don't forget to hit that uh, like button. Comment down below. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, we would appreciate it if you'd share our videos with other people to get our message out. And I guess that's it. So we will see you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye.